Hello, I'm Gary Lyon and welcome to the 2014 wash-up for the GWS Giants. Damo, it was an intriguing year for this club and they've got to start winning more games of footy. That's the challenge for them uh, in 2015, isn't it, guys? Uh, I'm not as buoyant about this footy club and we'll get through that in the next uh, few minutes. But, uh, look, they've set themselves up if they get it right. They've put some good players away uh, later in the year just to get them right for the pre-season going into next year. So they will look at themselves as though they're OK. I'm not so sure. I think natural progression in this super-talented young group is going to mean that they, uh, they're on the right track. The highlight for me was their round 21 win against Melbourne. Now, I know the opposition were terrible, but this is a side that lost their two captains and their key centre-half forward were on the bench before half-time. They were down and out. They had never won in Melbourne and never won at the MCG. Hoskin Elliott stepped up. Kelly stepped up. They all stepped up. They ran over the top of a woeful Melbourne. Yep. I think it could be a coming of age for them when they go back and look at the, at the history of this footy club. So that's the highlight for me. They got on the rooms at the mighty MCG, the most historic of grounds, and that is a memorable moment for a young footy group, and I think it's going to be telling as they go forward. They sang that song as loudly as they've ever sung it, Gaz, and the guy you saw in frame there who sang it very loudly that day, Adam Trelaw is the, is the man I'm putting the, the highlight tag on for this club in 2014. Just really liked how he went about it. The, even when they had that regular rough patch of, uh, of matches. Th this guy was good. He was uh, regularly in their best players. He's got tricks. He's got speed. He knows how to use it. And uh, if they ever get this, uh, this system right, this man's going to be leading the way. Look, I can't argue with you, but you are going the real obvious ones in these. So uh, try and look beyond the most obvious. But he's a super talented kid, so no question about that. Uh, the low light, Toby Green, for me, got involved in an incident during the bye weekend, got fined. But more significantly, it was the way the footy club handled it. They went hard. They suspended him for five weeks, which is a really strong statement, I think. Yep. And we've got to define the parameters when you've got a young, developing footy club. They did it so very well to the point that uh, Toby Green's now come back and played some excellent footy towards the back, back half of the year. Still a bit to play on that front. Needs to deal with that matter through the courts, and that's uh, upcoming for Toby. So, yeah, it needs to make sure he gets through that. Uh, Jonathan Patton, Gaz, is my season low yeah. um, I thought what he did to this point of 2014 was setting up for him what was going to be a very big 2015. I really liked how he went about it. He actually emerged in my eyes and then this happened in that same game you highlighted before and he's now out for another 12 months. Like how the club has in the week after he did that, re-signed him until the end of 2017. Um, it's a really strong statement that he's going to be Yeah, there. and I like the way they used him too this year. They didn't leave him at centre-half forward for long yep. periods when he wasn't involved. They threw him behind the ball a bit and I and that helped him develop. Who gets the Christmas bonus for the Giants, guess? Well, Christmas bonus time is one of my favourites of our uh, wash-up segments. And uh, Shane Mumford, for me, I know he got a hefty pay packet anyway, but I'd put a bit more in the stocking for the big champ because he's got presents, and when you've got a really young side, Callum Ward fits that category. Look at this. He sets a fantastic example, Damo. Yep. He makes the young boys walk much taller. His follow-up work is uh, outstanding. Uh, he can go forward and take a big, strong mark. I just think he's critically important. And when they recruited him, they would have hoped that he delivered this sort of stuff. And he delivered it in spades so much so I'm giving him a bonus. What about you? Well, I'm giving uh, my uh, Christmas bonus to someone who's also got a very hefty wage. Phil Davis, oh. guys. I just love the way he came back after that uh, shocking injury at the start of the year. At one stage of that week, he may not have played footy again. That was the, the talk coming out of the club and the medical uh, officers who were speaking to him. He was almost uh, certain to not play again in 2014. Mm came back and I just really like the way he went Great about courage. it. Very courageous. Great courage. Now, Christmas bonus time uh, was always followed by chopping block time. Chopping block. <laughs> Love it. Um, one of the young A graders I think might uh, just go onto the block uh, in, a, in an endeavour to try and shore up their list. Maybe someone like a Ploughman or, or an O'Rourke or a Jacksh or a Bunting. Someone of that ilk yep. who they took early Hasn't quite come on, but still got a big upside. Yep. They may just put him on the draft. On oh, the they're on the table, table. particularly Jake. Oh. I mean, he's got a lot of attention from uh, other clubs, and there could be more than one. I think you're, you're quite right there. Oh, I'm putting Jonathan Joles in, Gaz, because this time last year, he was set for a big 2014, but the addition of Mumford, the man you just highlighted, stuffed him up in a very big way, and now he's, uh, his future in the AFL is back to probably where it was back in 2012 or 11. All right. It's, it's in doubt. All right, well, bad luck to you, Jonathan Giles. He'll be shattered reading that from you. What does a team need to do to improve? Improve. Well, for me, Damo, this is uh, obvious. They need a key defender to support your man, Phil Davis. Uh, let's have a look at this stat I put together. They can't stop the big blokes. Twice yep. uh, this year in the history, in the whole of the competition, two players have kicked double-figure goals. It was against the Giants. There's seven players there have got a hold of them. Similar sorts of players. Davis might be able to handle one. They need a big monster who can go to the back half and just confidently walk to Josh Kennedy, stand shoulder to shoulder and think you're going to be OK. OK. 
GWS gets very defensive about the man I'm nominating uh, in this area of improvement, Tom Scully. But to me, Gaz, he just needs to start playing to a level that reflects the money that he's getting. He might not ever get to that money, Damo, let's be honest. Why are they paying him that money? Well, I think you'd be satisfied if he got to a $500,000 a year player, wouldn't you? Where is he now? About two fifty. dollars Yeah, about that. Below average wage. Yeah, three hundred. dollars So he needs to get up a bit, but maybe not to the million. Not bad. Much better from you than our Brisbane Lions one. Hey, get get to the predictor. You sat on the fence and said stagnate last time for Brisbane. Surely you're going to make a call now. Sitting on the fence is not... uh, Stagnating is not sitting on the fence, Gary. No, stagnating is actually making a big statement because most people will be saying they'll go up. I don't think they will. I think they'll be staying about where they are, no, down the bottom. I don't do stagnate. They are going up, the <laughs> GWS Giants. The young talent will rise them up the ladder to about seven to You're sure about this? You're convinced that they're going to go up? So certain about that, Damo. Much better from you this time. We're going to take uh, uh, stock. Thank you very much. That's the wash-up for the Giants in season 2014.